The West Milford Highlanders finished last year 13-14, and 14, fifth in the Big North Independence Division, but had individual success as Ben Marchetto placed eighth at 106 a year ago. For head coach Taylor Pevney, entering his eighth year, he knows what he has with this year's squad and wants to get them a solid base of fundamentals before they advance on the other things. Uh, so we got a pretty experienced team. I wouldn't say it's a very old team. Um, I mean, we, are, we do have a lot of seniors, but... Uh, we got a lot of young guys who have experienced sophomores, juniors who have been in the varsity lineup and they're coming back this year. Um, every year, you know, we try to start with the with the basics. Uh, we break things down to very simple things in the beginning. Try to knock some rust off and um, and go from there and kind of build every day. For Marchetto, he's identified three things in his game that he wants to improve to help get higher up on the podium in Atlantic City. Start working on top a lot. I got a lot better on that, and I got better at hand fighting and just conditioning so I don't gas out as much. In addition to Marchetto, fellow junior Colin Miner, who posted a 33-11 and 11 record a year ago, should contribute wins for this squad. This is a good West Milford team. I think they can be very competitive in all their matches and improve on their win total of a year ago. They're also on the precipice of a program history-making victory as they're only 13 away from the 600th in school history. I think they'll achieve that and have a good season. I look for them to finish above 500, qualify for the state sectional tournament, and finish third in the Big North Independence Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.